357, yep. <coughs> Remember, we skipped some dots, which we'll come back to. All right, so on page 357, there is a compass. Navigation land, so let's say this is our compass. Everyone knows that this is north and south and east and west, right? Hopefully that's not something new that you'll have to memorize. You know that already. On the compass, due north is zero. South is 180, east is 90, and west is 270. Did you say you're okay? Just put that in the way you guys did. I hope you don't. I hope you're okay. Sometimes when I am really, really tired. No, that's good enough. That's good enough. Oh, has it? Mom's not worried about it? My dad worries. My mom's not worried about it. Mm, dads don't worry about stuff like mamas do. Okay, so this is, you, you need to know, due north is um, uh, zero, south is 180, east is 90, and west is 270. Now, if we draw in this line right here, that would be called the northeast line. Does that make sense to you? And the measurement for that would be 45. Now, if we draw in, I'll put in red. If we split this one in half, that one right there, that is called north-northeast because here's the northeast line, and that one is on the north side of the northeast line. This one would be called east-northeast because it is on the east side of the northeast line. Does that make sense to you? Now, what's the measurement for that guy right there? North-northeast, how big would he be? 22.5, wouldn't he? zero in front of it if you want. 22.5 because it split the 45. What would be the measurement for east northeast? Well how big are each of these little sections? 22 and a half. So that one's 45. I'm adding another 22 and a half so that would be 67 and a half. All right, so does everybody understand how it works? Because now we're going to do some problems. That's how the compass works. Okay. All right, so the next one says east, southeast. Well, first, let me draw this in. That would be the southeast line. Would everybody agree with that? Now, if I want east, southeast, do I want to split here or do I want to split here? This one, right? This is going to be east southeast because it is on the east side of the southeast line. Now, what would be the main, the real question is what's the angle for that? Well, the angle to here is 90. And then how much do I add on to get down to here? 22 and a half. So this would be what? 112.5? Southwest. Now there's southwest. This is southwest. It splits the south and the west. So all the way to south is 180. And I'm going how much farther? 45. So this would be 225. 
west northwest. Well, here's northwest. Now, do I want the bottom split or the top split if I want west northwest? The bottom. The bottom. So this is west northwest. All the way around to here is 270. But I'm going an extra, how much did you say this was? 22 and a half. So what is that? 292.5 yeah. for west northwest. And then north northwest. Well, that's this one right here would be north northwest. And it's all the way around except for this much. So you could either do some addition or you could take 360 minus 22 and a half. What is that? 337.5. Understand how that compass works? All right, now we're going to draw a picture. We're not going to solve this problem just yet, but eventually you're going to be able to solve questions that involve this. A ship leaves port. So here's port. We're going to put him right in the center of the compass. There's the port. And he travels 15 miles on a course of 100 degrees. Now, where is 100 degrees? Think of your compass. Where it would be, well, it's, it's none of these actual markers, but it's in here somewhere, right? 100 degrees would look like this. And he goes 15 miles. So there's the ship's path right there. He's going 15 miles on a course of 100 degrees because we're measuring from up here. Okay, then he changes course. So I'm gonna put another little compass right here. Now he's here. And he's gonna go on a course of 200 degrees. Now where's 200 degrees on our compass? Wouldn't it be down here somewhere? So he's going to head down this way right here, and that is 200 degrees. Because 180 is due south, so we're a little bit west of that, and that's two miles. So it says draw a sketch of this journey. You just did it. The actual journey, I'll do it in red here so you can see it. The actual journey is this right here. That's his actual journey. Now, just to give you a little heads up, what you're eventually going to be able to do is, okay, let's say he does this. He goes here and here, and then he crashes or he sinks or something, okay? And you have to send the rescue people out from the from the port. So the rescue people got to make a straight shot there, right? So your job as the navigator will be to figure out how far they have to go and on what course they need to travel. And you'll do trigonometry to do that. It'll be pretty easy. Okay? All right, we're going to stop there in the notes, but we're not going to stop for the day because we are going to do some more practice. So I am going to throw onto the board here some memorization stuff, and we will see how you do. So let's run through as many of these as we can.
Reciprocal of the cosine, so it's hypotenuse over adjacent because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. In this picture, what's the hypotenuse? 13. And what's the adjacent? 5. Perfect. So tomorrow, first thing, no warm up, no nothing, first thing, memorization quiz. Okay? Always uh, I have to review though. Uh, I have to review. Yeah, that's part of the end of the day. So you need to be able to Yeah. Okay, tell him it's here. Yeah. Miss Ford, you want me to stop this? Um, yeah, stop that. Thank you. 